All right, so before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on the video and that if you guys are new here or have been around and haven't subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell down below. It's the best way to support my channel and make sure you are notified for all future videos. Thank you for watching and let's get right into it. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Slime Isekai Memories video. So today I have for you the free to play character tier list. Now this doesn't include Aaron, considering she just came out um, like a week ago or something. I don't exactly remember when the update came out. But yeah, this is basically just going to be like a tier list for um, how you should spend your flashback crystals if you're a new player or if you're just looking at the free to play characters and you're just wondering who's the best or the worst. Um, this could be a guide for you, um, mainly for the flashback crystals, uh, I think that's why you would be watching this video. But yeah, before you know, we get into that, um, this is just my opinion. Uh, if you disagree, then you know you disagree. Let me know down below why you disagree, because I definitely want to hear um, your guys' opinions, your thoughts, um, your experiences using the characters, and yeah, let's get right into it. So first, I guess we're just gonna go down down the line. Um, we have Fire Shuna. So I'm gonna put Fire Shuna in uh, C tier. B. C. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put her in C tier. Now, if we pull up her character, where are you, Fire Shuna? Now, obviously, you know, she's not. You're not gonna be using most of the free to play characters for damage, right? I think most of the time at this point, at the state of the game, free to play characters, um, unless you're like a really good DPS character, you're mainly just going to be like a support character, whether it be orb changing, healing, uh, defense, debuffs, you're mainly just going to be a support character that can be swapped in and out. Um, we ha really haven't had any DPS free to play units except uh, Dark Benny Mar, right? But yeah. Fire Shuna, she does have her orb change, which is decent. Her poison is situational. I mean, it's kind of niche. Um, recovers all allies from poison, and she increases her own poison ev poison evasion rate by 10% for three turns. Um, it's okay. Uh, her AOE, her, um, her AOE alt does AOE damage. Um, her trait's not really that great. The reason I'm putting her in C is because even though the orb change is great, I just have basically never used her ever since the first fire month. Um, well, I when I did the first fire month and then when I did the fire challenge quest, I used fire Shuna. So, you know, she had a use there, but outside of that, I do not like ever use her. I don't see anyone using her really. Um, so I'm going to put her in the C tier just because I think one, not only is the fire team just lacking, um, she doesn't really have, I mean, she kind of has a spot because she orb changes from green to blues. Um, but I think not only is her kit not great, but the characters around her are also kind of meh at the moment. So now we're going to be going into Ranga. Now Ranga, I'm going to put him in D tier. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but let's go sort by water, Ranga. So Ranga is a unit that is mainly focused on debuffs, right? Um, his skills are all about debuffs, guard power, pierce resistance, counter attack rate, and he increases um, soul skills gauge by 10% for two turns. Sure. Um, he has an AoE alt, his trait kind of sucks, or it, it's okay, I guess, but I mean, you're not using him for damage, right? So. The reason why I put him in D tier is because his skills, while they may sound decent, you're just never going to use him. Like on the water team, right? On the water team, where are you going to use him? Um, you're just not going to use him, right? You have you have better options, especially from water 2.0. You have Hinata, Shion, Shuna with the new free to play Rimuru. Um, Velzard is so decent. The Raphael Rimuru is okay, um, just kind of okay-ish. Um, Alice is also kind of just okay, but Ranga just doesn't have a place on the team. His skills don't really do much um, for anyone, really. Um, 
it's unfortunate because his alt looks cool, his design looks cool, but his skill set is honestly just kind of meh, if I'm being honest. So next we have new, or I guess quote unquote new, Water 2.0 uh, free to play Rimuru, and he is going to be S tier. Now, very stark contrast from Water Ranga to Water Rimuru. Let me tell you why Water Rimuru is S tier in terms of free to play characters. So, Water Rimuru, he has the orb changing, um, two greens to two blues, and he also has his um, this sort of orb manipulation, I guess, where he changes his own orbs to blue orbs, right? So if you have, um, I don't know, four blues and the other two are um, this water Rimuru, you can just pop this skill and you have a six hand of blues, right? He's just really good for orb manipulation, especially on the water team and outside of the water team, um, right? Milam is all about getting, uh, you're just using her skill over and over to increase um, water attack right and then she increases uh skill point increase for soul divine protection and he works really well because he's constantly changing everything to blue orbs um you're really not using him for damage he again has just another aoe alt his trait is just whatever but um just the way that he can manipulate the orbs on the field is just really good now you may be asking like oh what makes the difference between him and like Fire Shuna because Fire Shuna also has an orb change but the problem is is with Fire Shuna you have the orb change but that's it um she has the poison the poison evasion or poison recovery but Water Rimuru just his second skill being the um orb manipulation that it is I don't really know another word for it um, just makes him all the much better and that really shows with as you'll see the other characters on this list um, just if you can really manipulate the field to your benefit it just really um, puts you in such an advantageous position in the battle right so that's why water Rimuru is s tier I know a lot of people have the same opinions that he's just really good um, for a free to play unit one of if not the best free to play units at the moment um but yeah that's he's an s tier all right so next we have wind shuna the first five star free to play wind shuna that everyone gets but you can fully get to six star through the bingo board missions she i'm gonna put in b tier c tier b c uh since this is for flashback crystals, I'm gonna put her in B. Um, she, let's pull her up. Where are you? There you are. So her defense, she has a pretty decent defense stat. Um, she increases all allies defense. She's a really like tanky character. Um, her other stats are kind of bad, but her defense um, is really good. She has an orb change, which is okay. Her AOE alt is okay. Her trait, again, the same as usual, just whatever. Um, but for free-to-play characters, she can be a decent like defense unit that you just throw in the field and she won't really die too fast. Um, yeah, I guess... Oh, she's not really flashback crystals because you just get her for free. But in terms of free-to-play characters, I think she definitely has some uses at the beginning of the game. Um, she is in B, but she's just barely hanging on, right? Like she, honestly, I could just throw her at C and I'd be happy with it. Um, but I'm gonna be generous and just put her in B for now. Um, yeah, she she can tank, but that's pretty much it. Um, her orb change is just okay. Um, it works with Wind 1.0 um, and I guess Wind 2.0 to some extent. Because oh uh, no, never mind. I lied. Um, she works okay with wind 1.0 but outside of that you're not really going to be using her at all so next we're going to be going into wind geld now i don't know i i'm going to put him in a <clears throat> now okay i know a lot of people have said that he's like an s tier character i know i watched joker's video and he said he put um wind geld in uh s tier but for me, with my experiences, I think Wingeld is 
good, but he's not on the same level as Water Remur. Now, the reason I think that, um, they kind of do the same thing, right? He orb changes to blues as well, but Gal does orange to blues instead of green. And his second skill transfers all soul divide protection to the character with the highest attack. So, and he increases the damage by 10% for one turn. So, he can work good with um, an offensive team where you just like want to get a full hand of blues, and turn them all to one character that has the highest attack, get their all do a bunch of damage and then you can just you know do whatever right but i think that in terms of um them and their teams overall i think water rimuru edges him out by a little bit because i don't mean i don't have that much experience with the win team right but my experiences of using him outside of the win team Gout has always just been okay um i never really use this second skill um or like, I mean, occasionally I do, but this isn't something that I'm always looking to use like whenever I can, right? For Water Reamer though, it's always like, okay, I can use this and really help um, my team at the moment, like get the protection gauge, um, you know, make this all a consistent six hand of whatever. Um, I think his orb manipulation is just a lot better. Geld is good. Don't get me wrong, Geld is good, but I think he is not um, at the same level as Water Reamer. Um, this might be a controversial one, so just let me know down below if you think otherwise. But yeah, I'm going to put him in A tier for now. All right, so next we have Wind Xion. I'm going to put her in D tier. Um, if we go to Wind Xion, very stark contrast, again, like the Water Team from... Uh, the first free-to-play unit for Wind 1.0 to the second um, free-to-play unit. So her skills, she heals herself by 25% of her own max HP, and she increases soul skills damage until the end of battle by 5%, up to a max of 100%. And her second skill, Destructive Cleaning, she increases all allies' fierce resistance by 25% for two turns. So she Wind Xion overall is just really weak, in my opinion. Um, her heal is okay, but she only heals herself, so it's like, okay, well, that's great. Um, her pierce resistance is okay, but there are other characters who have pierce resistance. And also, it's not, like, you're not going to be bringing her solely for the pierce resistance unless you have no choice, I think. Um, she doesn't really do good damage. Her alt AoE, I mean, just kind of whatever. Her trait kind of sucks. Um, I think overall, she's just a really weak character. I mean, occasionally you can get use out of her, maybe. Um, honestly, not really. The only time I really used her was Wind 1.0 and maybe like the month after that. But I I don't know. I just I don't ever use her. I only use her for the support just to boost the EP or whatever. But overall, I think she's not a character you really want to use your flashback crystals on unless you have um, like all the characters and everything, I would not really try to go for her. I mean, the wind, the free wind tuna that you don't need to spawn flashback crystals on is like, at least she serves a purpose, right? She can tank and stuff, but when she on mainly just heals herself and serves herself, but she doesn't really bring anything to the table for her team or just in general. Um, yeah, let me know if that's different for you guys, but. I think she's in D tier. So now we have Frey. Frey, I'm gonna put in A tier. I like Frey. Um, she was the space 1.0 meta unit, free to play unit. Um, everyone was excited for her. Uh, I know I was. You know, it, it, I mean, it's it's Frey, okay? You know, if I were, if we're being honest here, how could you not be excited for Frey, right? You know, uh, aside from the uh, the like, but anyway, um, she has, uh, she was the second free to play character. Oh my god, she was the second free to play character to bring in the um, the transfer sort of skill, and she was also I think the first free to play unit to bring in this like unique sort of orb change where she changes one of each, the blue to a certain orb, rather than just two, to one. Um, I think. 
she's not S tier. Um, her the reason her she's not an S tier is because her first skill is kind of RNG reliant. Um, if you have a forehand of let's say the hero and two of her, you are gonna be praying to God that you flip that coin properly and that you get the full six hand. Otherwise, I've had times where it's like okay. I can get a really good combo if Frey's skill works in my favor, and then it doesn't because RNG hates me. And then I, you know, either lose the battle or I just get a really bad score in like Jubilee or something. Um, it's a good skill, but I mean, the fact that you have to rely on RNG will just drag it down a little bit in my opinion. <clears throat> now her orb change is pretty interesting. In some cases, it can be really helpful. Like, it's just like, oh my god, thank thank you, Frey, for having this. For having this orb change of one to one. But also, you'll have times where you'll be like, god damn it, why can't you just change two to one, you know? Um, she is decent. She has a single target. She's the second um, single target alt character and the second out of two. Um, oh no, no, wait, I lied. Misery also has a single target. I forgot, but... Um, she has a single target ult. Uh, she does okay damage. Uh, her trait obviously sucks. All the free to play characters traits kind of just suck. But yeah, I think she is good. Um, she, I could, if you were to say, hey, I'm gonna spend my flashback crystals on Frey um, because of blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't be like, why would you do that, right? Um, maybe I, I'd probably say you should maybe get Water Rimuru first. But if you're like, hey, I want Frey, you know, like, she, I like her character, I want to get her, then go ahead. She's really good. Um, not on the same level as, I think, Geld or Water Rimuru, um, but I think she also, like, is a pretty strong free-to-play unit. So, next we have Misery. Misery, um... I'm gonna put her in B tier. Uh, by the way, this isn't in any order. I should probably say that at the beginning of the video. Um, this isn't in, in like an order. I'm just putting them up here. Like if I have G Geld in front of Frey, I'm not saying Geld is better than Frey. I just have them up here, right? So Misery, the reason I think Misery is in a B tier instead of A tier. She is just barely not in A tier in my opinion. So her skill, her first skill, Agonizing Slash, she increases all solo skills gauges increase by 30% for two turns and damage by 15% for two turns, which is really good. Her second skill heals the ally with the lowest percent of oh my god percentage of HP by 35% of their max HP. And she has a single target alt. Um, she has pretty good defense stat. Her trait is just whatever. Um, the reason I have misery in high 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 b tier instead of a tier is because she works well with certain characters you can use her with the new guy or quote unquote new guy um you could use her with uh shizue light shizue um what other if we start by protection characters um yeah that's pretty yeah you could maybe use her with Ari, uh, I don't know if those will stack. Um, she could work decent with Benny Maru, but um, he doesn't orb change, right? So I think her first skill is really strong. I, the only problem that I have with it is that if there's no way for you to make green orbs, she does not work that well. Um, very situational unit um, in terms of orbs. If you have a lot, like a way to get a lot of green orbs she's gonna be really good if you don't have a way to get a lot of green orbs she's gonna suck in my opinion her damage is kind of bad even though she has a single target alt it really does not do that much damage her heal can be like useful um but i mean the heal is not really going to save her right uh i think it's it's not that like they can make her better i mean i'm sure there are ways that they can make her better i think it's just the problem the underlying problem with skills like this not that it's a bad thing but it's just that i guess if you don't have a way to get those orbs the skill is almost useless like there's no reason to run her right on her teams she works really well but outside of that she in my opinion does not work really well at all 
So if you don't have a character, like one of the protection characters or something that can make a lot of green orbs, like Shizue, who full orb changes, and Guy, who Guy, who also full orb changes, um, I don't think she's really going to be worth your flashback crystals over someone like Water Rimuru. Um, but yeah, I, I think she's just a solid B tier. Um, almost an A, but it's just the skill, you know, just it has its own issues and that's why I put her in B tier. So next we have Albus. Now, Albus, I'm just going to put uh, B tier, I think. Um, I This was the one month that I did not play, one of two months, so... I have never really used Albus. Um, actually, I might. I'm. I'm gonna put it in D tier. Screw it. Uh, the reason I put Albus in D tier, which is unfortunate, because Albus, I think her character is pretty cool. Um, I like the art and everything as well. So she was the first free-to-play character to introduce this transfer um, soul orbs, right? Uh, Frey being this. Frey being the second character, and I mean we saw with Frey that. It's very situational, or it's not very situational, it's very RNG reliant. Um, if you use a skill and it goes to the other character instead of the one you're going for, then it'll like ruin the combo and it'll be a waste of skill points. Um, her second skill is a stun evasion, but there are other characters you can use who also have stun evasion. Um, she increases on crit rate by 10%. I think that's literally Fire Shizue's stun evasion skill. And I mean, when do you ever use her or the... Uh, that, that skill, right? You can use stun evasion in very situational stages where you're, where they do stun. Um, but outside of that, the stun evasion is essentially useless because uh, there aren't many stages that stun. The suppressor skill, the orb swap, I guess, orb transfer is okay. It's RNG reliant. Um, and yeah, I just the fact that it's so heavily RNG reliant just drags her down a lot. Outside of that, she really doesn't have any uses. Um, she's mainly just used to like boost your Earth character stats. Uh, her AoE alt, it's AoE, so it does no damage really. Um, it's unfortunate because Albus is a cool character, but I think the way they designed her was kind of poor, considering this. Essentially, she basically has just one skill. Because when are you really ever using this, right? Um, I don't think she's really worth your flashback crystals when there's just way better characters than her. So next we have Light Shinsha. Um, I'm gonna put her in C tier. Now, the reason I put her in C tier is because if you look at, I mean, if you look at her skills, right? She increases all allies' light attack by 15% for one turn, and she changes one uh, blue orb to one green orb. Uh, she has an AOE alt. Obviously, her trait is whatever. I think that in the light team, she can be pretty decent. You know, and if you have no other options and you have to run Shinsha, yeah, you can you can run her. Um, outside of that, I think she's pretty useless. I really don't see any place where you're going to be using her. Um, maybe in like a, a situation where you can use that one orb change. Like I know the Space Jubilee, the second set, I, I forget what they call it. I think Heroes Jubilee Catalyst for Space 2.0. There was a strategy for the normal battle 3 where you could use um, Light Reamer's single orb change and a bunch of other character skills to get you like a really, really high score. So maybe she could have use like with that, a really gimmicky sort of strategy. Um, but outside of that, her light attack already is useless outside of the light team um because she would only be buffing herself and her orb change is okay but it's just unfortunate that's only one orb one orb is already kind of limited um but i mean it's an orb change right it's okay but you know you're not using her for damage outside of the light team like i said she's just not really gonna have a place there um so that's why i put her in c tier i would put her in d tier but on the light team she works so I think she belongs in C tier. So next we have Light Mulan. I am going to put her in also C tier. This is like a little staircase. Um, the reason I put her in C tier is because 
Her orb change is pretty decent. I think this is one of the rare orb changes, if I'm not wrong. Um, wait, skills from green to... Oh god, green to orange times two. Okay, uh, battle characters. What? Alright, so, I, Jesus Christ, I got it. Um, as you can see, it's a very, very, very rare, um, orb change from green to orange. So, she does have some uses, right? Like, you can use her in Heroes Jubilee and just do this if the orbs require you to orb change. Um, her second skill is useless. I mean, when are you really going to be using this? Unless the bot uses it, or if you're just like, hey, I have 20 extra skill points, or 15 extra, and I really don't care what I use, so I'm just going to use it, because why not? Um, maybe, actually, you could maybe use her in uh, in E-Free Conquest, but I think also um, <clears throat> you're not really going to be getting her with your flashback crystals just for that. Uh, I think there are other ways that you are like other strategies that you can use to clear Ifrit's um, EX conquest like way easier I guess um, did I just repeat easier anyway I think that she is just okay she has a rare orb change which is good her second skill is basically useless she doesn't really do damage on the light team she is okay but I mean I think Shinsha works better um, She's not absolutely garbage, but I think overall Mulan is just kind of weak. Um, you're not going to be really using her outside of the orb change. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah. Unfortunate, I really like her design. Like, I like the outfit and everything. Um, the sword that she holds is a little interesting. But, yeah. I think that she is just in a good C tier. Now lastly, we have Dark Benny Maru. And this is gonna be an interesting placement because I'm gonna put him all the way in A tier. Now you may be asking me, hey, Luminous, why are you putting him in A tier? Isn't he the first free-to-play unit to come out? You're right, he is the first free-to-play unit to come out. And you know what? He's also the probably the only free-to-play DPS character that we have. Um, I don't know why that picture isn't loading, but his skills, he decreases single target's defense by 15% uh, for one turn and increases his own crit rate by 15%. And he also has a stun evasion, whatever. And he does a uh, single target dark physical attack for 435%. Now, the reason I have him in A tier and not S tier is because, I mean, the second skill is okay. It's the same thing as Albus, where it's just kind of whatever. But he can actually do some pretty decent damage. Um, Obviously, during the first month that the game came out, when we were using Dark Benny Maru, it was like, oh my god, this guy is insane. Like, it kind of set the bar pretty high for free-to-play units, if I'm being honest, because he really did a lot of damage. He was good. Um, if you didn't spend and, like, you didn't pull Diablo or, like, Dark Millum or something, and you could use him as a six-star character, and he would put in work, like... The defense, it's only 15%, but don't don't sleep on it, because it actually does decent damage. So he would be a pretty decent option if you don't really have any DPS units um, for your flashback crystals. That was trait, whatever. Um, but yeah, he actually did decent damage. Um, even now on the dark team, because my dark units, uh, I didn't summon for the like two dark units that they released, the Diablo and Rimuru. Um, and my dark units are kind of weak. So I do use this Dark Benny Maru still. I still get use out of him. Um, he's still pretty like reliable. Of course, you know you can flashback crystals to get the gear, but I think overall he's still really solid, um, which is surprising considering the game's 11 months old at this point. Uh, yeah, 11 months old, and he still puts in work. You know, like all these free-to-play characters, and he's the original free-to-play character aside from Win Shuna is still like really good and that honestly surprises me um it's pretty pretty cool to see that dark many Maru can still put in work um but yeah this is my full free to play character tier list if you want to just skip to the end and see this that's fine um let me know down below if you guys think differently uh 
you know we have water remove and s tier he is the god of free to play units at the moment um geld frey benny maru are in a tier wind shuna and misery are in b tier fire shuna um shinsha and mulan are in c tier and then ranga shion and albus are in d tier um so yeah like i said a bunch of times already let me know down below what you guys think if you disagree if you agree all that jazz um that's gonna be it for me i'll see you on the next one and peace